Thank you. Thank you. If you have a question, raise your hand and we'll come to you. We'll kick off with Nick Callow. Pep was just calling your team one of the best teams in the world and that he was happy to get a point after such a crazy up and down game. What, what's your reflections on it? No, that they are probably the best team in the world. That's my reaction. Yeah, and I'm talking about his team. <laughs> we had a very difficult start. In the first 10, 15 minutes, we were uh, struggling in two occasions to control certain spaces, and we didn't have enough ability to get out of the first 25, 30 meters of the pitch, uh, which meant that we never controlled the game. After that, we started to understand better what we have to do. We were much more efficient. Uh, we were back on the game, winning it, and when we had the best moment, obviously, we were thrown to a context of the game that makes it almost impossible for 56 minutes. But um, anyway, we adapted to that context in the best possible way, and the way the team competes is just unbelievable. I'm so proud of them. Um, you cannot be thrown away in a more difficult situation against that kind of opponent. And the way we deal with it, we handle the situation, is unbelievable. I'm so proud of them. John? Hello, Mikhail. What did you make of the sending off, the second yellow card? I prefer not to comment because I've seen it. It's that obvious that I think I leave it to you guys. I was already in big trouble trying to solve what happened on the pitch. It's not my problem now to, to solve what happens off the pitch. But there was another. There was another one, wasn't there, featuring Doku? That's what I'm saying. That is that obvious. That I think it's it's not necessary to comment it. It's the second time. So I'm expecting 100 Premier League games this season to play 10 against 11, or 10 against 10, or 9 against 10. Let's see. Okay, go to Kyle. Mikhail, um, is the atmosphere in the train in the change room now? Is it is it more? Obviously, disappointment at what happened at the very end, or is there still sort of a sense of? Crying? It was, and the boys were really gutted. Obviously, they put so much. They put their heart and soul into every single action, and at the end, to be punished in the last minute. Uh, well, it was, it was 97, then it was 99. Uh, so yeah, they are gutted. But as well, they know that they have made another big step today uh, as a team and individuals to be able to do what they've done today here. And were uh, Timber and Calafiori okay? They both came off. Yeah, again, another thing that we have to adapt, they haven't played 90 minutes uh, in this kind of context is for sure, but in the last week, what they have to do. But everybody's so willing to help the team, and uh, we will find solutions. Mikhail, there was some speculation before kickoff that Ben might not have been fully fit. Yeah. Was that the case? And then, yeah. I mean, what does that tell you about then the, the 45, 50 minutes he gave no, it, it's, We didn't want to. But, uh, but we had to at some point. I spoke to him yesterday that we wanted to protect him. and. He's not going to ever tell you that he's not fit. He will run through a brick wall for you. And uh, and the intention was not to try to use him today. But um, but we had to, and very grateful, because as well, he could perform extremely well. And th th there's many instances we could ask you about, but there was a moment right after the City equaliser where Haaland throws the ball at Gabriel's head, it seems. Any response to that? No. OK, we'll go to the gentleman here. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to ask about the Holland thing as well. What did you What did you think about the reaction after the two-two goal there? Sorry. What did you think about the reaction from Erling Holland after the two-two goal there? I don't know. I think they expressed their emotions, and and that's it. Like we did when we scored our goals. Happy day. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Congrats for your Italian first, and then about your Italian player Calafiori. Uh, what do What do you make of his performance today? Uh, he was great again to have uh, the debut as a start. Start the first game in the Premier League uh, in this context, Chapo. He's got so much personality, so much energy. The quality has shown today. Really impressed with us. Okay, can you ask a couple now? Yeah. Hi, Mikhail. Going back Hi. to the Trossard second yellow card, yeah. it was for kicking a ball away. Is that not a fair yellow card? That's that's the rules of the game, right? So therefore, he should have been sent off. I prefer not to comment, but uh, if you analyze the situation and how long it takes, I think. I, is that you because? Know, you feel you're not allowed to have a, an opinion on something which you think is unfair because sorry you don't want to comment because you know i have if i want to and today i don't want okay. to thank you okay. james james from espn finally well, i think there's this one and then yeah go david thank you and then we'll go james and then we're done you, thank you, you mentioned it was 97 minutes then 98 99 was that not a consequence of your team breaking up the game effectively <laughs> time wasting trying to slow it down which everyone understands is, is, is what you're trying to do to get the win but is that not a consequence and did that not backfire but if I'm not commenting about the first part, you can understand and I won't comment in that second part. There's a consequence one to the other. Right, I don't, can you explain that again? Sorry. 
Sorry? Can you explain that answer again so I didn't hear, I didn't understand? But if I haven't made a comment about the first action, I'm not going to comment now about the consequence to acting in a certain way. Okay, and we'll go finally to James from ESPN. Hi, Mikhail. Um, do you feel that if that was 11 v 11 for 90 minutes, that you win that game? I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> we will try for sure, but after you have to show it in the second half there. But uh, what I can tell you is 99 out of 100 times, if you play 56 minutes against this team with 10 men, you're going to lose, and you're going to lose by a lot of goals. So given that, even though you didn't get the win that you wanted, mm -hmm. you must be able to take the players and you can take some real self-belief from this for the rest and of the I, season. And I do, and I'm so proud of them, and, and it's unbelievable how we react. But uh, I cannot be happy because I want to be involved in a game at this level that puts the, the game in a situation that we can enjoy it and we can talk about it in the proper way. And, and we are not talking about that. It's clear. You haven't asked me one single tactical question. Okay, everyone. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.